This is for 18 years or older maggots, so get on out of here! Hello everyone, it is your Lion Center Pride, Devin Leinhart, and today I want to do a little something different with Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Today I want to take some characters from a popular two shows from YouTube and actually give them a sort of a eh, deck for them. These characters are from Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. I have chosen five characters and five certain decks for these characters and I think they fit them to a perfect T. If y'all have any other compliments, you have any compliments saying, well maybe this may not fit this character all that much, then put them in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's get this video on the road, shall we? So at number one, we have the infamous Alistair. What can be say about this demon spawn of the, well, metaphorical being of all evil? He is the circuit son to him. And I think the, what fits him most of all would be evil heroes of course now evil heroes and Alistair kind of go side by side to each other because one is a radio prompter Alistair is and way back in the day radio prompters did uh, certain skits about superheroes good versus evil certain other stories like drama and all that all over the radio and this was way before my time I mean Way before TV was even out. So I feel like evil heroes would fit Alistair's overall personality, let alone career choice, pretty easily. And plus he's... Well, you know, if you've seen Hell of a Boss, you know what exactly what it is. So, moving on. And we have it, number two, also from Has Been Hotel, Charlie. That's right, I do not trust this little girl at all. But, to be honest, and literally honest, she creeps me out. And not for the good reasons. Pretty much, she's in charge of a hotel that's supposed to reform criminals. But I wouldn't trust her as far as I can throw her. She's also the circuit daughter to the essence of all evil. Same as Alistair. They are brother and sister. And the deck I'm going to have to choose for her, believe it or not, is the Dark Lords. Now, why would I choose this deck for this untrustworthy little demonic lady? Trust me. <laughs> I made the right choice. I do not... I would not trust Charlie or let alone be with her at all if my life depended on it. Ooh, and it probably would. And at number three, from a Hell of a Boss, is Blitzo, or Blitz with other you presume. Now him, he likes his guns. He's a guy that's not afraid to shoot you in the head and then laugh about it after. Let alone he has a strange factuation within his employees, other than his daughter Luna, that which will be later on on the list. That's right, Blitzo, you made my list. Congratulations. And the deck I'm going to tell you deals with guns, and it is. The Magical Muskets. That's right. Blitzo would probably enjoy using this deck. I was either thinking between the Magical Muskets or the infamous Inferno, uh, Inferno archetype or Infernoids. 
But I felt this one matched them better because of the gun mechanic it goes with. And Blitzo's random need for destruction. So, yeah. Pretty much, I think it was a good choice. We're moving on to number four. Now, I did say this character would make the list, and it is Luna. Number four. Oh, boy. What can I say about this little ball of wrath? Furry ball of wrath, that is. She is one of those characters that will not be afraid to take your heart, put it in a blender, and hit frat pay. Her sin is mostly wrath, is what I understand. She is a very, very angry and wrathful person. And the deck I chose for her, believe it or not, has the same symbolic nature. And that nature and symbolic relationship is the Harpy Ladies. If you are not familiar with the Harpy Ladies lore, read a book. Literally. Go read a book on myths and monsters and you will probably find some image of a harpy in there they are known to be wrathful vengeful type creatures that would take men that have been unloyal to their spouses take them to their nests and torture them both physically <clears throat> and another way and then end up Finishing the job one way or another The harpy ladies are definitely a creatures you do not want to mess with and Luna goes in the same category You would not want to mess with Luna when she's angry trust me She scares me and at number five we have Solus, my favorite character believe it or not his foul mouth nature and pretty much undesirable undeniable craving for a certain imps region is actually one of my most favorite and also the recent episode where he's shown to have more of a sensitive side after a actor change of his character and believe it or not Stolas is from a royal family. <sighs> Lucky bastard. His deck is... I have chosen the Amazonist art type. That's right. These ladies can all use a good <clears throat> pounding, if you know what I mean. I think Stolas would have his daily pleasures with these ladies. Let alone showing his dominant side to a dominant and female <laughs> uh, culture that would be funny but in all seriousness I think this deck would be really good for Stolas <sighs> still he's lucky though being rich famous in a royal family for crying out loud and an all-around foul-mouthed owl person that everyone loves to hate. Give it up for Solus, everyone. Okay, everyone. Because of Konami, things have changed. So I had to change my outro. This is music. So please support me on my Facebook, my Twitter, and go to my Patreon and try to support me there if you can. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And tell me what decks you think will fit these characters more. Take care now. Bye-bye then. I'm out.